The reason that I wanted to start a sanctuary for farm animals was because of what I saw at other sanctuaries and some of the transformative experiences that people have. I spent five years interning and working at other animal sanctuaries before I started the refuge and all of these experiences gave me the confidence to say okay I'm finally ready and I think we can do this in a way that is going to last and that's our goal. We have these misconceptions about farm animals and okay they're stupid, they're scared, but it's mainly because of the environment that they're put into and when they're in a place where they feel safe and relaxed their personalities are able to emerge and so we're hoping that these structures just further help the animals sort of feel put at ease. If you, if you guys want to sort of stand in a line. Hello, nice to meet you. That's where my goats are going to get to live their life in sanctuary. They get to be a family. How many farm animals get to be a family? It's magical here. It is. <laughs> Knowing these animals up close and personal, you can project that onto the other animals in the factory farms and, and realize how special they are. People don't realize, oh, if chickens just lay eggs, that's not a problem. Well, they're traditionally housed in these horrific ways, and then when they stop laying as many eggs, they are killed. I think this will allow a lot of people to make the connection of what's on their dinner plate is, is a living being. And warm them up that way. They like that sometimes. It's hard to meet Andy, Louie, and Jordan and not go home not wanting to eat turkey ever again. He's arriving. <laughs> arriving with children's coloring books. You know, it's partially us telling their stories, but a lot of it is just give people time with the animals and just stand back and be quiet and watch the magic. that farm animals deserve to have a life where they are relaxed and happy and free to be themselves, I would ask you to please support us in whatever way that you can because we need you, we need people to donate, we need people to give their time. I'm not carrying you, you're too heavy. It's, it's really about a community coming together and saying this is what we're trying to do for these animals and your support is really invaluable no matter how small.